You welcome back to the show. You're watching GH today here on GH1 Television, and we've got another conversation coming up here on the show. And we're very happy that you've decided to stay tuned in on this very, very nice Friday morning. And uh, we've been having um, a very, very good time <laughs> on the show this morning. Um, my next guest in the studio uh, is here from the APO Group. That's right, from the APO Group. He's actually the founder and the chairman of the APO Group. And uh, we've got quite a lot to unpack and quite a lot uh, to talk about. And good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much uh, for joining us here in the studio, Nicolas. Uh, how have you been? I'm okay. I'm okay. Since the last time I've been there a few years ago uh, to uh, increase the capacities of the communication managers of uh, um, the rugby federations across the continent. So we are busy doing a lot of different uh, different things, really. Mm. Right, and um, of course, talking about the things that you know the APO Group has been doing. Of course, you are the Pan African Public Relations, a Relations Agency for for FIFA. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that, that's some some great stuff there. So, I mean, in that regard, how is that helping you know elevate you know the profile of sports even here on the African continent as you have that working relationship with FIFA? Well. As I mentioned, we, we are involved in a lot of different sports. Uh, um, um, we are, in fact, and, and I hope I will not forget anything, uh, so we are managing the public relation for the African continent for FIFA, NBA, Basketball Africa League, Rugby Africa. We also have a partnership with ANOCA, which is the Association of National Olympic Committee of Africa, so the Olympic movement in Africa. Uh -huh. uh, we have uh, uh, um, a partnership with Olympique de Marseille, which is that uh, French, uh, iconic uh, French football club. Uh, we also have uh, a partnership with AIPS, the International Press, Press Sport Association. Uh, and I'm probably, I'm probably forgetting a, a few things. Sport is, uh, is very interesting uh, because it's, uh, it's um, one of those uh, activities which allow us to convey another image of the continent to the world. You know, uh, the international media have a tendency to focus on, uh, 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 you know, bad news. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, um, they focus on uh, coup uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, misery, uh, AIDS, uh, humanitarian, uh, whatever, whatever. Uh, but by, uh, by uh, uh, providing to the international media contents about uh, um, women playing rugby in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Ghana or, uh, or uh, you know, uh, NBA players, African uh, players uh, uh, taking over at the NBA, or etc., yeah. etc., et yeah. uh, it's allowing you to, to display another image, to convey another image about, uh, about, uh, about the continent. So that's, uh, that's uh, one of the things we are doing. And I, I noticed you're doing some work also with uh, Rugby Africa. Yep. Tell us about that. Well, um, um, we entered into a partnership with Rugby Africa in 2017. Mm -hmm. um, and um, and um, I have to say that uh, uh, we, have been, uh, we have been disappointed by uh, a few decisions which have been made. For instance, uh, as you may be aware, the, the previous president uh, decided to, uh, on its own, uh, to uh, to uh, organize the Rugby Africa Gold Cup, which is a qualifier for the Rugby World Cup uh, in France, uh, instead of to organize it in uh, on African soil. Uh, so uh, it's a little bit like if you organize the Africa Cup of Nations in France, you know, uh, uh, didn't really uh, really make sense. So uh, so the situation was a little bit uh, a little bit uh, complicated for us as a, as a partner. Uh, it's that decision. It's a decision we did not support one bit. Uh, but luckily. Uh, for African rugby, uh, a new president has been elected. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm uh, also here to, to meet him. He's based in Ghana. He's uh, Albert Mensah, as I mentioned. He's been elected four months ago. Right. And uh, I have to say that in four months as a president, Albert Mensah did more than uh, uh, the previous president in five years. Mm. Uh, so he's really, uh, he's really, uh, he's having a, a vision, a project. Uh, he's uh, gathering energies. Uh, he is uh, interacting with uh, already a lot of governments, uh, having uh, big plans. Uh, is all about uh, um, developing uh, the rugby in Africa. He consider um, uh, sport is uh, is big business. Rugby is big business. Uh, I think one of the things which is quite symbolic is that his very first public appearance as the president of Rugby Africa was mm -hmm. 
at an event, uh, uh, a Bloomberg event in Morocco, the, uh, the largest uh, Bloomberg event in Africa, uh, which is called the um, uh, Bloomberg Gateway Africa Conference. Uh, he was a speaker there. Um, so um, um, I think, uh, you know, having the president of Ruby Africa speaking at a Bloomberg event is tell you everything about uh, uh, his vision and where we are. He's really about developing an ecosystem, making sure African athletes uh, can play in Africa. Uh, you know that uh, <coughs> there are uh, 1,200 uh, African citizens playing rugby in France. Mm. Um, and, uh, the, and, and, and obviously uh, uh, the Rugby World Cup is going to uh, start in a, in a few weeks. And you have, uh, I don't know, four or five players uh, in the French team which are from African descent. Uh, same in the UK team, etc., etc. So the idea is to create an ecosystem, develop rugby uh, in Africa, uh, to allow African athletes to play rugby uh, in Africa. Uh, it is, uh, it is, um, it is a, a huge task. Uh, it, re it, it requires a change of mindset right. from uh, uh, the governing body of rugby, uh, which is world rugby, uh, from the governments. Um, currently, um, you know, uh, uh, you don't have infrastructures uh, everywhere. Here in Ghana, uh, you, uh, the, 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 the president... Uh, uh, apparently, uh, the, pre the president has decided to uh, uh, build a stadium dedicated to rugby. So you'll be one of the one of the country to have a stadium dedicated to rugby. So it's a great thing. But governments across Africa need to do more. And the president of the newly elected president of Rugby Africa is uh, interacting with a lot of governments already uh, since he has been elected uh, to push the government to uh, to support rugby, uh, to invest in rugby. He is also. Uh, uh, pushing uh, for uh, a mindset change with the governing body of rugby, world rugby. You see, um, uh, 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 world rugby is uh, giving uh, a lot of money to uh, uh, European countries, um, millions, uh, to uh, uh, France, uh, UK, etc., while uh, giving only two million uh, for the entire continent of Africa. Mm. Um, and uh, there are 37 countries playing rugby uh, in Africa. So, uh, so um, eventually, uh, uh, two million is, uh, is, is peanuts. Yeah. Uh, not to mention, and, and, and I appreciate that uh, uh, from Europe, from an office in uh, in Dublin or in Paris, in London, they they don't know that, but uh, uh, they just have to listen. Uh, there are uh, things which they should consider, like for instance, uh, when the French team is traveling to play against Ireland, for instance, the cost of transportation, the cost of the flight. Is, uh, is peanuts. It's maybe 300 euro, 400 euro. Uh, and there is no cost for visa. While Ghana, uh, is Ghana has to play against Mauritius or Ghana has to play against Kenya, against Kenya, the cost of transportation is crazy. Uh, and you have to pay also for, for the visa fee. So uh, it's not less money we should have, uh, we should receive uh, to develop the game. It's actually more money we should receive to be able to develop the game. Right. And in the meantime, uh, well, the... Uh, we are, we are uh, as I said, we have uh, 1,200 Africans playing rugby in France only. So uh, you see, you see uh, I think a little bit what I'm saying here. Uh, there is uh, something which is uh, unfair. Uh, I think a four years old can see that it's unfair. Um, and uh, it's unfair mostly also because um, African athletes are the best in the world. Uh, Africa is taking over at the NBA. Uh, you have... Uh, a lot of, I mean, there is a reason why uh, we have a thousand two hundred African uh, playing rugby uh, in France is because it's because uh, France want them to play, you know, yeah. for them, you know. Yeah. Uh, but that thing, all all of this need to change. All of this need to change, and uh, I'm I'm very proud that um, uh, uh, the the newly elected president of Rugby Africa, Albert Mensah, is uh, is really pushing uh, that uh, that uh, change of mindset, that new narrative, that new agenda. I think it's, personally, I, I think it's obvious that it's all come from, uh, you know, colonization, racism, etc. Those things need to change. Uh, we are not, uh, you know, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a sense of history, you know. Mm -hmm. So the idea is to create a world where African athletes can uh, uh, play their games, uh, whatever this is, uh, basketball, football, rugby, etc., on African soil. Um, one of the value of my position is that... Uh, uh, I'm discussing with FIFA, I'm discussing with NBA, I'm discussing with Rugby Africa, with Basketball Africa League, with the Olympic Movement in Africa. So I have that point of view, which is quite unique. Usually, uh, usually uh, <clears throat> uh, I find that people are working in silo, 
The people which are working in basket, they know only basket, they don't know rugby. The people which know rugby, they know only rugby, they don't know football, etc., etc. They have that uh, vision, uh, and uh, I can say that uh, things are, are moving. Uh, uh, most of the uh, international sports federations uh, or corporation, NBA is a corporation, are investing on the African continent. Africa will be 40% of all humanity by 2100. Uh, everyone knows that. The corporation knows that, but not the sport federation uh, 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 knows that. They look at Africa as, a, as a, their future uh, because of uh, the size of the population, because of the use, uh, also because of the morphotypes. Uh, I did not mention NFL. NFL is uh, uh, here to poach talents uh, to, uh, to uh, uh, hire, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, to identify and, and scout for the, the best uh, uh, physical uh, uh, talents they can find, etc. Um, so, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, FIFA uh, president announced recently that he wants to invest uh, several billion on the African continent to build infrastructures. He wants to build one stadium at FIFA standards in each country right. uh, across the continent. Right. Um, and uh, and I have to say the only governing body uh, in the sports I just mentioned which is lagging behind is World Rugby. Uh, Royal Rugby do, do not seem to, to realize mm. that, in fact, Africa is their future. Uh, Africa is their future and they, they should invest. Uh, they should invest and uh, um, now they have the right president to work with. Yeah, I think it was you very know, important. You know, it's, when you are investing, wherever you are, uh, you are an angel, inve angel investor or you, are, or you are a governing body of a sport investing on a continent, it's very important that you know you have the right interlocutors, uh, um, um, people which know African rugby know that uh, the previous presidents were not the right uh, people, uh, but Erben Mensa is a businessman, a successful businessman, uh, he has been an entrepreneur for most part of his life, he has been a sport administrator. Uh, um, uh, when I can tell you, uh, because uh, I attended several meetings with uh, ministers, uh, uh, head of states. I can tell you that uh, um, when uh, he's talking uh, and when he's interacting with uh, high-level officials, people are actually 